Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dustbiter Zero, aka Ray J's tutorial for building an interesting looking house. Not the typical box style homes you see used by many terrarians as of now. So, yes, we're going to be continuing here. Go ahead and um, we're going to need to build gray brick walls for this. So you're just going to use the shift click technique if you can. For some reason it's not working for me at the moment, but I don't know if it was an update or what exactly is going on, but yeah, just get a bunch of them. And uh, yeah, you'll probably need to use, I would guess, about 100 raw bricks to make about 400 walls for this whole house. I don't know, that's just a rough estimate. You, the, the walls go fast. I mean, it's kind of shocking, actually, really. So, yeah, just paint it on there. And then we're going to start using the hammer, and we're going to uh, dig out some walls, or some some windows out of the walls. So, this is why I don't recommend using wood, because wood doesn't look very nice with this. So we're just going to dig out a little 3x3 three three area, just up and to the left a bit of where we place the workbench. Just like that. Now, we're going to move up to the next floor. We're just going to start putting some walls down. Don't worry about the stuff you can't reach right away. Um, we'll be able to get it eventually. One of the ways I like to go ahead and get it is just by doing one layer at a time and then if I can't, when I can't reach any more layers, I'll actually go up to the next floor and start um, reaching down. So yeah, actually the stairs here work to your advantage as well because you can reach some extra little uh, walls to put down because of the stairs, so that's pretty handy. Um, yeah, just not much to say about this. This is not really much to do with design or anything. This is pretty basic. Um, in terms of which walls you want to use, though, I find that the gray is basically the easiest to obtain, and I think the gray looks very nice, actually. So, um, really your choice. Just keep in mind that you can't make brick walls from dungeon bricks. In other words, if I have blue bricks, I can't make blue brick dungeon walls, which is a little unfortunate, but, um, yeah, I guess it's, you'll have to actually find a dungeon on a different world with that color walls. So it's really hard to match some of these things, that's why I do this. Um, but yeah, really, really all the dungeon bricks in gray and red, which is made from clay, of course, look pretty nice next to each other. So yeah, we're gonna need some more here, so just keep making them. Um, yep, not much to say about that. So yep, just um, finish off the second floor and then um, one, one important thing to keep in mind though is um, that when you cut out the windows, you actually get some more uh, bricks back. So that's always handy. Um, yep, this floor is going to have three windows. They're going to be the same size as the windows below it. So just go ahead and take care of those. I typically find about two walls, well I guess it's a technically two walls, is enough space between each window, just like you see there. That makes it nice and even, and um, I think the whole window technique is really handy. And again, with wood, it really doesn't work as well, because the wood really has jagged edges doesn't look too nice. So yeah, that's how you're going to want to do that. Next we will uh, head up to the next floor, the final floor, and um, go ahead and fill in some bricks. So yeah, this is not too difficult or much uh, in terms of design savvy, as I said. One thing that's hard to do is some of the spots you may only be able to reach by jumping, and in that case you may overshoot it per se, and um, if that happens then you'll have to actually go out to the roof and um, use the hammer and chop them down because you likely won't be able to reach it with your hammer from where you're standing. So one easy way to do that is thanks to our little uh, balcony access. It's typically pretty easy to get on the roof. And um, yep, so we'll make some more walls. We have a uh, workbench right there, so that's nice and easy. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hop out to the roof now. Actually, go ahead and handle some of the some of the stray bricks. 
and just fill in, it's also easier to fill in the higher spots from up here, I find, so yeah, and, um, yeah, I, I may accidentally leave one or two bricks, brick, extra brick walls, that is, but, um, yeah, just, just make sure you take your time when you're actually doing it, and, um, obviously I'm using the Molten Hamax, which is one of the best tools you can have by far, simply because of how quick it allows you to build stuff like this in the case of making mistakes. So you go ahead and get past the door there. And, um... Ah, oh man, stupid eyes are really frustrating sometimes. Um... Yeah, I'm really hoping for a peaceful mode on this game eventually. I mean, it's a really nice addition to Minecraft. Um, and, I mean, I'm sure someone will mod that eventually in or script that in for some fun multiplayer servers once we have apparently 255 people and can be on one server and, and this update is coming in one or two days, I heard. So that's that's incredible. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make a, a similar window as before. This window set will be the same height but four long, basically. And um, this acts as like a cool kind of like sky view, really big window. Have those in a, a bedroom sometimes. And um, yeah, I've really, really been liking this design of the house, so... Okay. Alrighty. The next thing we're going to do is make a ton of wooden platforms. These are going to really... You can do a really nice touch with these, lining the... Um, oh, whoops. Lining the bottom of the windows. So what you do is just place it like that, and it really gives it a nice windowsill look, I found. And this is a great technique. This really brings your buildings up to the next level. And um, I don't recommend doing it on all windows. For this house, though, they, it does look really nice on all the windows. An instance where you wouldn't want to do it is if the window is very close to the floor, because then um, it won't look nearly as good. But where the windows are high up like this, very nice. So yeah, then we're just going to go ahead and place some bottles. Um, just kind of place them every few times. I'm not really sure what bottles are doing anyways in this house. Just randomly strewn about, but it still looks nice nonetheless. So yeah, then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to place flower pots next. Flower pots are similar. Sometimes with flower pots I like to place them like in the middle of the window like that. Really implies that it's getting a lot of sunlight. I also like to place it in the corners of rooms, as you saw in that top room up there. And, of course, as I said, you can place it out on the balcony if you'd like. Um, but, yeah. I, um, then the other only other thing, really, is books. Books, I like to put on these shelves here. And um, I also like to throw a few on the windowsills. I, th I feel like really decorating the windowsills really looks nice. Like, really, at first I was kind of, eh. I just... I just tried it and it really 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 won me over the whole windowsill concept see I just like to even it out make sure it doesn't look like any particular side is too lopsided or anything I mean that's really up to your uh, whatever you think I mean this is fun because this is the actual real part that it's really up to you. Next, we're going to add some chain lanterns. I feel like these are, for this style of house, the best choice. We're going to put one in the first floor like that, and then one also above each of the windows, above the center of the window. And then up here, we're going to put it just off-center to the right. And this really, um, I feel, goes well with the bed. With the bed being on the right and the light being slightly to the right, really gives it a nice feel. Next thing we're going to do is going to put a chain lantern out in the front, kind of like a porch light style thing. And you're just going to put it on the edge piece there. Alright, then we're going to chop down some of these weeds here. Always kind of pesky. And um, we're going to plant sunflowers out here. Sunflowers I like more than flowers in like a front yard, just because it's a little bit, uh, I think it's a more unique feel. I don't think people are decorating nearly enough with sunflowers that they could be. But um, I think they're really nice, actually. So go ahead and throw them. They also obviously prevent weeds, um, which weeds were fascinating for 
a few days until I realized that you could get flowers by planting in pots. And of course, flower pots are annoying out in the front yard because whenever you're running by with a sword, chop them up. So trying to get any perfectly styled or like a certain pattern of flowers is all but impossible. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and film this dirt. I'm not going to, just for the sake of time, because I'm running out of time here, I'm not going to fill in all of it. You should really have done this earlier, I think. Um, otherwise, it'll be hard to access it with this now filled in stuff. But, um, yeah, just know that you got to do that at some point. Otherwise, it'll look pretty lame. But, um, yeah, for now, we're just not going to worry about it, because we're quickly reaching the time limit. I'm just having so much fun. And, of course, um, some of those grass blocks won't grow back, so that's another place you'd want to use the staff of regrowth. I know grass sometimes doesn't grow under certain conditions when when um, bricks are on top of it, so yeah. Couple last things we gotta do to finish up here. Um, you're gonna want to go ahead and make a sign. Sign Really, you can put whatever you want, but it's just going to go in the front yard. I think it looks good as decoration even, but of course, if you're on a multiplayer server, you'll want to put your name, you built the house, etc., etc. If you want to give me credit, well, that's always nice. We're not going to put anything on it for now. Obviously, on single player, signs lose a lot of use, but um, still, I think looks nice, almost like an address sort of thing. Um, yeah, so that's that's that. And the sign really is just about the last thing you're be able to do before it starts to get really cramped in this house. See, one one downside of most Minecraft or Terraria houses is that they're too big and they people aren't able to fully decorate them. This house really remedies that problem with the windows and the stairs. And um, yeah, I'm really liking this design so far. Let me know what you think though. Um, if you want more building tutorials like this, if you want any more tips? Um, but yeah, most importantly, thank you for watching. I'd like you to leave a comment, let me know what you think of the house. Um, yeah, um, it's basically all we can do at this point. Um, but yeah, it's a very cool house, I think. I'd like to know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time. We will.